Yo guys, Monk here, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead and increase your internet and download speed on your Xbox One. I've done two videos on this guys and they've done really well. They have helped a bunch of you guys, but also they haven't helped a bunch of you guys. And I'm basically doing this video to try and help that portion of the people who it hasn't already helped. Now guys, if you want to go ahead and check the last two videos that I have done on this subject, I will have them linked in the description down below for you guys to go ahead and check. And if they work for you, then that's great. If they don't, then come back to this video and hopefully this video helps you. But if you have watched them two videos beforehand and they have not helped you guys, then hopefully this one does help you and does help you increase that internet speed on download speed to so make sure you go ahead and download them Fortnite updates and download them games as fastly as possible. I just want to give you guys a couple of tips before I get into the video that if you do or if you can get into a wide connection then that is going to increase your download speed and your internet connection to your Xbox and it will basically make sure that you go ahead and download your games and get the best ping possible than if you're using wireless but if you are using wireless then that is totally fine this is going to help you guys a lot it's also going to help you guys who are unwired but it's going to help the people who are wireless more than it will do for you guys who are unwired because you're getting the maximum performance from your router rather than the people who are on wireless so firstly guys you want to go ahead over to your network settings on your xbox one and what i'm going to do i'm going to run a detailed network statistic to go ahead and find out what my current download and upload speed are on my connection. So currently guys on screen you can see my download and upload speed that I'm getting at the moment. My download speed is 131.44 and my upload speed is 20.79. Now my upload speed is basically getting the maximum upload speed that my internet provider basically offers me so that is not going to change. Um, drastically when I do these changes. The download speed though that I'm meant to be getting from my uh, internet provider is over 300 megabits per second but I'm not even getting half that but hopefully doing this in the, doing the changes that I'm doing in the video will go ahead and help me increase the download speed. The latency is what I find is going to stay the same. Uh, it might go up a, up a couple or it might go down but that doesn't really change that much but the download and upload speed is what we're going to be focusing on on this video. So once you've found out what you're getting currently guys, I will leave mine in the, at the bottom left hand corner of this video so you can go ahead and keep a reminder of this throughout the video so that you can see the changes at the end. But you want to go in back and you want to go down into advanced settings and I'm going to have all my stuff blurred out so you guys don't obviously don't um, have them. Um, just for safety purposes and stuff like that but you want to go down into dns settings and my last video if you did come back from my last video i did put a dns setting on there but this is a different dns server guys so if it didn't work for you last time it might work for you guys this time as it's a different dns server but you want to go down into manual and you want to go ahead and put in the numbers that i am putting in now which is 208 67 222 222 and then for the secondary IP you want to go ahead and put in 2 no 8 6 7 2 2 0 oh, 2 2 0 oh. and then just click enter go back and it should say checking connection and just say everything is good now guys what we're going to go ahead and do is run another detailed network statistic and see if our download and upload uh, speed have actually changed, if they've increased, if they've decreased, uh, but hopefully they increase as it will be a good example in the video that this does in fact work and see if it actually increases by loads guys. And also guys, if it does increase for you guys, let me know in the comment section below how much it has increased for you guys, just to let everybody else know and just let me know. Because if you guys have increased by what 20, 30 megabits, that would be great. Uh, and also, if you think that I should upload more videos like this, like for PlayStation 4, for other um, devices, let me know in the comment section below, guys. And also, you hitting that thumbs up button uh, will also give me an idea of what you want to see on the channel. And if it does work for you guys, please let me know and, hook, and just click that thumbs up button as well. But we have got our results back, and our download speed hasn't gone in fact up. 
and before it used to be on 131.44 it's now gone up by 12 megabits per second uh, it's gone up to 143.68 and i believe my upload speed has gone up as well to 20.81 like i said the latency is going to stay the same and the mtu is going to stay the same as well but yeah guys as you can see it's worked for me on both occasions if it doesn't work for you let me know in the comment section below i will try and find a new way for you guys or i will divert you to the video from before but yeah guys if it's worked for you let me know in the comment section below remember tell me how much it's increased by and also hit that thumbs up button also subscribe if you haven't done already and hit that bell icon next subscribe button to ensure you never miss a video on the channel but yeah guys thank you for watching peace out <laughs> Yo, what's good Prestige community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.